Good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you get over to JerichoGreen.net. Get these videos first before anybody else. $3.99 monthly sub. And make sure that you protect your retirement with a gold IRA. Go to NobleGoldInvestments.com. Noble Gold is who I trust. And this video is sponsored by Noble Gold. Now, tapering, a word being used a lot right now, isn't it? It's a Fed code word for taking money from your pocket. But the Fed owes over $30 trillion. Stop your money being taken by creating a precious metal IRA or 401k with Noble Gold. They're giving away a free 5-ounce solid silver America the Beautiful bullion coin with each qualifying plan. You start this month as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. So, and the I love the fact that we're seeing this. I think we need to see more of this and I think we will see more of this. But you notice how at sporting events, um, mostly sporting events that I've seen, some concerts, um, you hear the crowd yelling, let's go, Brandon. Wait, oh, my bad, guys. My producer's in my ear. Well, the lady who did the interview, she said that they were saying, let's go, Brandon. They were saying that instead? All right, I'll check it out. Uh, guys, I've been uh, informed that the crowd wasn't chanting, let's go, Brandon. They were saying, fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, it's a NASCAR race or some kind of race. And the guy who wins, of course, they get interviewed after. And they're standing pretty close to the stands. And you can clearly, and I mean clearly, hear the crowd screaming, fuck Joe Biden, <laughs> fuck Joe Biden. I even saw um, a video of he was going somewhere. I think it was Michigan. And he's flying over and somebody in their yard or something wrote in the biggest letters you've ever seen. Or they put stuff, they like these white things. I don't know if they were buckets. Or they use these round white things to uh, shape the words, fuck Joe Biden. Hilarious. So this dude's getting interviewed and the, cl the, cloud is, the crowd is clearly saying those words. But the reporter, she goes, oh, I, I think they're saying, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Nah, lady. You know damn good and well that's not what they were saying. Now, what she should have said was nothing at all. She should have just let that shit ride. But instead, she said, I think they're saying, let's go, Brandon. So now you see that shit everywhere instead of <laughs> fuck Joe Biden. And it's hilarious. But my question is, if this was or is the most, pre most popular president ever, because I think Obama got... 60 million, 60 some million votes and Biden came in with 80. So that shit all over Obama and he was the chosen one. People are, you know, the media was fingering themselves on camera over Obama. So if he is the most popular president to ever do it, you got 45 of them before him and he is the one. He's Neo. Then why are people chanting and I specifically college stadiums. And the reason I bring up college stadiums is because they're bigger than other pro venues. They're bigger than NFL stadiums. They hold, some of them hold over a hundred thousand people, not all of them, but some of them are bigger than NFL venues. And you hear the majority, the overwhelming majority of these people. And another cool thing is that they're college kids, but they are chanting, fuck Joe Biden. So again, if this is the most president, most popular president to ever do it, why do we have so many, so much footage of people chanting that? Why are there so many people chanting those words when they go out? Now, I'm sure maybe somebody can please send me a link to the sporting events and other events that people by the thousands don't show me no damn birthday party at some weird blue-haired, granola-headed dirt fucker's house. I want to see the stadium full of people chanting, fuck Donald Trump. 
Why didn't we see that? And if somebody shows me that, I'll be the first to say, you are right. This isn't a first. But I didn't see that. In the midst of things that we had never seen before. We had never seen the media go after a president like that. Not even Bush. And they hated Bush. But they didn't even go after him like that. And now that I think of it, maybe there was like a woman's march or something where they're chanting, fuck Donald Trump. But even that, that you go into something like that thinking, well, of course, it's a woman's march. Most of the people here hate Donald Trump. But you don't go to a sporting event ex expecting that. That's much more of a mixed crowd. So somebody showed me the thousands, tens of thousands of people at one time chanting, fuck Donald Trump. Let me see it. But until I do, I haven't seen it. And I was watching pretty closely all throughout his presidency. I think we all were. From the moment it was announced where even the people that voted for him were like, damn, Donald Trump's president? That was a trip. But I haven't seen it. But what I do see a lot of is tens of thousands of people chanting that about this president. But he's supposed to be the most popular. So why are people doing this? This can't all be buyer's remorse. I don't know. You tell me. Speaking about the <laughs> interview where that lady was talking to this dude and the crowd is yelling that shit. And she says, I think they're saying, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. But speaking of NASCAR races. So the other day, uh, I made that video about Bubba Wallace and him being the first black driver to win a race in a major NASCAR circuit, except for a guy, Jeff Wendell Scott, who did it in 1963. So really, he's the second guy, and we're impressed by unimpressive shit. I did a video about that, and then uh, other things I heard from other people, I, I looked a little more, because really, I was focusing on the absurdity of them celebrating something about somebody being the second person to do some shit. But also... Bubba Wallace probably wasn't going to win the race because it was stopped because of rain. The rain started. They tried to clear the track for 45 minutes. They couldn't do it. Bubba Wallace is hoping and praying that they call the race because he knows he's going to get his ass whooped. So there was a crash. He went through the crash. That's how he got to the front of the pack. The rain starts. Everybody's sitting out. He's in first place as of that moment. The rain didn't let up. They had to call the race. That's how he won. So he even won in an unimpressive manner. He didn't even pass the finish line and get the checkered flag. He even won on some kind of nature affirmative action bullshit. <laughs> he didn't even win the right way. It had to rain, it had to stop the race. And since he was in first place when the rain started, that's how he won. You talk about a, a asterisk next to a, a something in the history books. There definitely needs to be one here. He wasn't even going to win the race. And you hear, you see in articles, them talking about they just barely gave the the went the Scott family their trophy a couple of months ago. Bullshit. That's the last trophy, the last award that his family got. He's been getting awards since 2010. He even got the purse for the race that he won, that they didn't give him back then. So when you hear them saying that they barely got a prize, an award two months ago, it's bullshit. That's the last one that they got. They've been getting them for 10 years. Also, something I want to talk about real quick. If you want to see something so gross and sycophantic that you need to watch it from the bathroom while you shower because you feel so nasty. On Disney Plus, they just released the Anthony Fauci documentary. Don't worry, I will put a link in the description box so you can see this bullshit yourself. You can feel the mainstream media. You can feel the far left wing. You can feel their vax foot soldiers touching themselves over this documentary. They're fawning all over him. Oh, he's, his daughter's like, everybody just sees my dad one way. He's really nice and silly and fun. I don't care if he's nice and silly and fun. He's a corrupt idiot. But we all saw how the 
the mainstream mediocres in Hollywood and all these dumbass perverts just bukkaking him with praise and adoration. Do not look up the word bukkake. But they're spraying this love all over him. And now they have a documentary coming. <laughs> Man. Can we all agree that you can't do a documentary on somebody who's still alive? You have to be dead for somebody to make a fucking a biopic about you. This dude's still alive. So what other point is there than to keep showering him with all this praise? Like he's, some, like he's something more than human. It's fucking gross. You'll see. And at the end, there's a shot of him. I think he's with his wife. But they're standing in a field of little white flags. And there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them. And what do they represent? All of the deaths that they say from COVID, according to their numbers. And they just go as far as the eye can see. But how come you don't do that same photo op for other things that kill hundreds of thousands of people every year? Alcohol, hypertension, high blood pressure, cigarettes, accidents, gun violence. You guys love to trot out gun violence when it suits you, when it serves you. Why don't you put a little white flag out there for everybody who got every person who got murdered in Chicago last year? Why don't you put a flag out for every kid that died because his parents weren't there, because their parents died from fentanyl and their parents weren't there to take care of them? What about those kids? What about flags for the kids who have been kidnapped? Nothing? Nothing. Just flags out there for all the people who they say died from COVID to tug at your heartstrings. They're not serious. They don't care. They don't give a fuck about us or what we want. It's power. Power and control. Forever. They're not playing. You think you're out here trying to create something for your kids and your kids' kids to live off of? You ain't seen shit yet. Look at them. They're willing to destroy our way of life to ensure their power forever. For eternity. They're not messing around. And we shouldn't be messing around either. Just wait. It is. It's almost like they're doing a doc. This a trailer for a documentary is about someone else. It, it can't be about the Anthony Fauci that we know. Who changed his mind. Who lied to us. Who's a celebrity more than he is a doctor? Please, where is his practice? In Dr. Fauci's office, where is that? This shit is sick and weird. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. Again, we should not be making documentaries or biopics about people who are still alive. It's weird. You're putting him on a pedestal. And in, and in the documentary, you hear the voiceover. I don't know who the lady is, but I don't recognize her by her face. But she's saying, you don't join, you don't get into this for the money or the fame. You get into this to help. Well, tell that to Dr. Rockstar, who's been on every damn talk show we have. Since we're in the midst of the worst pandemic that we've ever seen, shouldn't he keep his head down and stay working? Shouldn't he tell these morning talk shows and stuff and these magazine interviews, I can't right now. Hit me up when it's done. I'm busy. This shit is serious. I don't know. Call me crazy. I'm just a taxpayer. That's it. I'm a number. I'm a cog in the machine. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to get home to my beautiful wife and kids. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Make sure you utilize the Linktree link and get over to JerichoGreen.net. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.